Hello and welcome to my brand new channel that I've just decided to start. I've decided to start this channel purely for the fact that so many people now on Facebook groups and forums don't know what fuel they're putting in their bikes, their cars and if you've got a lawnmower or anything. Since this E10's come out, um, you know, there are reported issues. I personally wouldn't use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to review fuels that are local to me on a weekly basis, several times a week if possible. So the first one that I'm going to review is Shell V Power. Now, this was bought today at 145.9 pence a litre. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to test exactly how much ethanol is in this. So, in that jug in front of you, that measuring jug, the water at the bottom is dyed blue and it's already at 20 mils of water. So I'm going to add 200 mils of fuel, give it a good shake and see what's there. Now the water and the ethanol, like the ethanol is highly attracted to the water so it will separate and however much water or ethanol is there, the water will then mix with it and you'll see that in, so in theory you should be like 200 mils of fuel, 20 mils of water if it's not that then you can work out the percentage of what is actually in it so let's get going with that then so now you can see that I've added 200 mils to that 20 mils of water and that is 200 mils of V power added into that now just to make sure we have shaken that up well I've put the bung in the end There we go. Now that is well shaken. Right, so I've now let that settle. Surprisingly, there is actually, out of the 200 mils, 5 mils, each increment on there is 5 mils. The bottom one is 20 mils, which is where it started off from with the dyed water. So, 5 mils is ethanol in that fuel in V power which means two and a half percent of it is ethanol so we had 200 mils of fuel 20 percent dyed water five mils break that down two and a half percent so i'm surprised I, I actually genuinely have tried it before and i thought there would be nothing in it because I've done it before a bit ago and there was no ethanol in it at all and that is Shell V Power so if you like this video I am going to do some more I've actually got some more fuels ready to do over the next few days um, some of you will think it's really boring but you know if you're like me and you don't want to put that in your car or your motorbike because every time I go to the petrol station there is literally people queuing up at the V Power pump like old scooters, bikes, cars, you know, it's alright if, you, if you've got a really modern car, but even that I wouldn't run it in it. But, so there you go, anyway, I'll bring you some more videos and thank you. Cheers.